Yo guys, what is going on? It is your girl here and welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make this intro trailer kind of like a uh, promotion video for what your video is going to be like. So watch this guys and this is how you make it. Oh, I can't do it. What, what was that? Why do you fear environment is freaking out? Oh my god. Bro, this ain't funny, man. But they're everywhere, they're everywhere. I'm going to call them a panic attack. I think, So before I start guys, I would just like to say, can you all hit that like button if this helps you a lot and also hit that subscribe button to be part of the fam and help me to get to 800 subscribers as soon as possible guys. And if I'm over 800 and you're watching this, then I want to get to 1k. That is my main goal, but 800 will do for now. So guys, please smash that like button, please smash the subscribe button. If you don't like this, then no problem at all, just let me know how I can improve. But if you do like this, then let's get into this video. Okay guys, so you're going to need your video footage and you're also going to need two audio files one which is a riser tensions but um like sound felt so it goes from quiet to loud and gets your blood pumping and your heart beating you're also going to need some sort of trailer intro just so um trailer intro sound kind of thing just so that you can add some backing music to this as well to make it a little bit more freaky you're also going to need sony vegas well that's what i use and this is what the tutorial is about but you can use any editing program that you use guys and just you know do it the way that the editing program program allows you to do you're also gonna need if you want to do it in the advanced way um that i like to do it then you're going to also need audacity as well to edit the sound that you're going to be using so what you're going to do guys is you're going to open up sony vegas and then you're going to drop in your footage that you want so once you've got your footage in you're then going to run through your footage and try and find um some like intense bits of the footage so <laughs> This is the longest bit, is trying to find the footage that you actually want. Sasha's life. You might not even find any clips in the first um, video that you upload. So the first little clips didn't contain anything too jumpy, so I'm going to move on to the next couple of clips and see if I can find anything on here, guys. Just to let you know, you need about about three to four clips, or maybe about four to five, just to make it more like intense and more like what is going to happen. I can't do it. Okay, yeah, so once you've got your clips, you're going to get it, get this marker right up here, guys, that I'm moving about now, and you're going to get it to the end and the beginning, and then you're going to render your little clips out right here. Now, if you don't want to edit your audio, you do not have to do this step. You can click forward and miss the step out, but this step I like to do just to edit the audio a bit. So I'm going to render this audio as an MP3 file, and we're going to come down to MP3 audio. I really don't understand the difference between these, so I'm just going to click on this one and then go to pub audio tester and we're going to render that guys. And once that's rendered, you're going to open the file and then, then you're going to open up Audacity. We're going to drag this down into the home, um, the, my desktop. Once you've opened up Audacity, you're going to drag in your audio that you just rendered and put it into Audacity. Once your audio is in Audacity, you're just going to give it a quick oh, listen, I and that's perfect. You're going to highlight this, guys. If you don't know how to highlight, just click on this little tab right here, and it'll highlight it all. We're going to go into Effects, and we're going to go to Noise Reduction. Oh, saying that, actually, we're going to get, say, this bit right here where there's no noise at all. It's just me breathing. We're going to go to Effects, and we're going to get Noise Reduction and get Noise Profile. We're going to highlight it and then we're going to noise effect again and click OK. And that's going to take out any buzzing noise that you hear. So if we click back right here, it's made that a lot more quieter. So we're going to do that one more time. Once we've done that, we're going to normalize it. What was that? And it sounds really muffled at the minute. So you're going to go to amplify. And I like to use 0000. zero, 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 zero. Um, and then you're going to go to compressor. And that's my settings for the compressor, and then click OK. Once you have done the compressor, you then go into go into echo, and this depends on what you want to, what, how much you want it to echo. So this is zero two uh, zero two. Oh, I can't do it. What was that? So I don't really like that. So we're gonna go zero two zero one. Oh, I can't do it. At the end of the clip, so we've got this bit right here. Ah! We go into um echo it once more and click 0202 ah! 
<laughs> then go in to go to equalization and this bit you can play about with so you can go to 100 hz rumble it gives it different effects so like am radio oh i can't do it guys but i like to use base um base boost guys because it gives it a nice effect and a nice overall effect guys you're gonna go to normalize again oh i can't do it what was that once you've done that guys you um i'm gonna go go into go to reverb so once that is completely done you then go in to save that as an mp3 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 again so you're going to export as mp3 then you can go ahead and close audacity then open back up in sony vegas and if you didn't close it last time you still have your clips if not then you're going to find them clips again so make sure you do not close um your sony vegas you're going to click on this tab here with your audio and then you're going to delete that tab so that just deletes the audio that you originally had on the track you're then going to get your audio that you've just edited in to audacity and place it underneath where the original track was so once you play it will link up together oh, okay. so i've put this the end in bits so that i've made it fade out at the end once you've done that guys you're gonna then add in your your audio effects so we've got the raise tension build sound effect which i'm gonna add in first and this will add in it won't play in the whole clip it will only play in a section because my clip is 15 sec my intro is 15 seconds and the clip is only just about 10 seconds so with this it t sounds a lot different i can't do it what was that Oh my god. Bro, this ain't funny. So you can line this up wherever you want. I like to line it up um, so that the tension bit is just coming into the end bit. So the last little bit of audio, the last thing I say does have like a nice quiet kind of thing. So it builds up to like the ah and then it goes quiet to where I'm like, I've got to go, i got to go. And then we're going to add in my dark action trailer music, horror, mischief, cinematic, scary, royalty free music. And we're going to place this over this now this you're gonna cut down obviously so I'm gonna cut down this blanket this blank bit right here take away that if you want to know how to how to snap um, how to split clips really quickly just press s on your keyboard and then if we play that oh, I can't do it. What was that? so I'm going to take away the first um, build up Oh, I can't do it. What, what was that? that? And I've left a little bit over right here because once I've added in, finished all that, guys, I'm then going to add in my intro, which will go here. Um, so I'm just going to add that in quickly just so I can show you guys. So we'll go from ah to my intro. So once you've done all the audio side of things, you're then going to wonder how do you make the clips a lot more, um, you know, darkened and a lot more freakier to add in effects and stuff like that. So what you're going to want to do, guys, is on each clip, you're going to want a nice smooth transaction. So I personally just like to put it over like this oh, I can't. so that it fades. Let me just change my preview because it's really slow. Oh, I can't. Do oh, I can't do it so that it just fades over um in sony vegas you have like tons and tons and tons of different kind of effect so the next thing you're going to do is add some video effect now i add it straight onto this bar right here so that it goes over every single one of these effects i like to use brightness and contrast which i just default it right there and i turn the brightness down just a touch turn the contrast up a little bit and you can mess about with this as well i like to turn it just down a little bit so it's a little bit brighter next thing i'm gonna add in guys is some color corrector and default again and you can mess about with the colors i like to add some blues to this and some reds and with the high it's totally up to you where you want to go with this i like to be in between the red and the blue um, mainly on the blue saturation you're going to bring down a little bit um, bring your gamma down a little bit your gain you can leave it there or bring it up and your offset you don't have to touch your offset that's pretty that's fine 
and you can also mess with your color curves if you want to um, you don't have to do this it's something like it's really optional if you don't really know how to mess with them that much then you don't have to touch oh, them I can't do it it just adds in a extra like warmth, warmth color and the next thing you're gonna do or I like to do I like to add some um, just some fill, film grain and only literally a little bit of this like you can go full on if you want to but I just like to add a little bit and about with that. Oh, I can't do it. What was that? So you're gonna, you can add in some TV simulator if you want to as well. And then say if I want it on this clip right here, we're gonna go right there and just drag it straight on the clip. Uh, we're gonna keep that. We're gonna add in a little bit of that. Um, add in a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Take away that, take away that, and take away that. And then on this last clip right here, we're going to add it in again, but we're going to go in with this one instead. And then we're going to go to this one right here. That's pretty much it. Um, you're then going to just render it all out, guys. And go to render. And make sure you click off the MP3 audio. I like to use um, Sony AVC MVC and Internet uh, 920 to 1080 and render. And just you just got to wait for that to render, guys. And then you ended up with this clip. Oh, I can't do it. What, what was, was that? that? I keep the environment is freaking out. Oh my god. Bro, this ain't funny, man. Well, they're everywhere, they're everywhere. I'm gonna go and have a panic attack. I think. So as I say guys, I hope you do like this video. I hope it helps some of you out. I've got requested to make a video like this to help some people out who wanted to know how to do what I do at the beginning of each clip when it comes to abandoned videos just to pump you up for this video guys. So I hope you do enjoy. I hope to see you all in my next video. Let me know down in the comment section below what kind of videos you want to see. Let me know down in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video and put a thumbs up if you also enjoyed and make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications for awesome videos that is coming your way guys i have a lot of videos ready to come out and they are some cool videos so you're going to want to stick around round i also will have a giveaway that will be running once i hit to 1k subscribers guys and i'm looking forward to picking the winner for that giveaway so i will see you all in the next video i love you all and it's been me it's your girl peace